Hello, Wolf Pups. It's your host, Raytheus, and welcome to Symmetry. A game about a person battling with the problem of everything having to be symmetrical. What a pain. Let's get into it. Press any key. Where's the any key? I love symmetry. I know you do. Even the intro is symmetrical. I'm not sure exactly why, but I've loved it since I was a kid. Our children are messy and forgetful of their things. Not me. I knew everything had its place, and in my room, everything was right where it belonged. It's a little unnerving, but okay. My parents didn't have it. My grandparents didn't have it. That's not symmetrical. Is that supposed to be your, your parents' bed? I started referring to it as it because I truly believe it's a thing inside me. Could be. It's a need, a desire, a longing to be perfect, perfect on both sides. Both sides. What a way to be. The loading wasn't symmetrical. I'll get very, very critical about everything being symmetrical right now. Okay, I think I can move. Oh, I can move! This better not be a hospital, man. I don't, I don't like hospitals. We better not be in a hospital. Okay. As an adult, I'm at a point where I can't live my life normally. I can't keep a job. And don't stay with me because they can't handle it. Honestly, I don't even care when they leave. They're messy and make things difficult. They yeah, move them to my side and be bad instead of staying on their own. They leave dishes in one side of the sink but not the other. I can't work anymore, so when they leave for the day, I have to stay home and fix everything. It's what a really is that? they leave for good. That feeling never lasts though. Eventually it comes back and finds something else that needs fixing. You may be asking why should I seek out relationships to begin with if I can't stand them? Well, it's hard for me to sleep in the middle of the bed or not without moving. It's not symmetrical, that drawer's hanging out though. Just FYI. FYI, that drawer's sticking out. Yeah, it's not symmetrical, man. Like, you should be going like ape crap crazy because that's not symmetrical. Okay. So, I'm a guy, right? That sounds like a guy's voice, but it said something about... That guys can't handle me or something? So, is it a girl? Can't tell that hand either. The hand's kind of gender neutral right now. My guy? My girl? I, I think that's not even symmetrical. See so many flaws with your lifestyle that you're not living up. Or maybe I'm not fixing it properly, I don't know. Okay. These books, like I said, these books aren't even symmetrical. You got a lot of problems here, man. Okay. At least we're not in the hospital, that's all I can say. Uh, diagram of an eye? 
And I have four books open to a diagram of an eye. Why do I have to have four of the exact same book? You, you know you can just have like one book in, in the middle and that would be symmetrical. You don't really need four books of the same thing. You're not very bright. Okay. Get some tunes while you're cleaning. Oh, my mirror's all messed up. Oh, I am a female. And I have two different colored eyes. I mean, that's symmetrical though, just because they're two different colors. Or maybe that's not symmetrical. I mean, they are the same shape and everything, so it's symmetrical, right? At least I think so. I don't know. What do I know? Oh. Oh, this stuff's out of place. Gotta make sure it's all good. Says I still have to fix stuff. What else do I have to fix? sworn that that was okay, but okay. Nope, there's a book out of place there. I think we're good. We're good. We can go back to the only relationship problem. My life is pretty much in order. I yeah. say pretty much Seems like it. there's one last issue that must be dealt with. What's that? You got loose hair? Yeah, I mean your hair is not not symmetrical because it's swept to the side, so just fix your hair. You'll be okay. You see, I have what's called heterochromia iridium, or two different colored irises. Yeah, I can see that. My right eye has cornflower blue, my left pale green. Both yeah. my parents have cornflower blue eyes, my siblings and cousins as well. My green eye is the broken one. It makes me... You think it's not symmetrical because you have different color eye? Just sweep your hair over it. You won't notice anything. I gotta say, I don't think I, the mirror is moving with me. Even your pose is not symmetrical. You got your hand on your hip. That's not symmetrical. Your life's not completely symmetrical. You'd be okay. And I didn't turn that on. I didn't turn that back on. Are you on a timer? Better not be on a timer. That's freaky. Go to bed. Yeah, might as well. I mean, we cleaned up. That probably exhausted all of our energy for today. I would just go to sleep. And then everybody else, my, my parents or whatever, we gotta go mess it up again. My bed's not even symmetrical. My pillows are like on the right side. Oh, it's all messed up again, isn't it? Why? Why do you do this to me every day? Approach the mirror. So, all my stuff's intact? Nope. See? It's not symmetrical because there's a spoon there and there's not a spoon on the other side. And there's scissors in that book, and there's not scissors in the other book. Every time I look at myself in the mirror, it stares right back at me. I mean, that's what mirrors do. So I think about now. Everything is in its right place, except my green little mistake. Okay. I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. What 
What? Wait. Take spoon. Oh no, no, no. You're not. You're not gonna scoop out your eye, are you? You're not gonna scoop her out your eye. You better be making coffee. You better be stirring your coffee with that spoon. Get some ice cream. Chill yourself down. Approach the mirror. Oh, we're going to do some sawtooth stuff and scoop out her eye. And there's not a key behind this one. It's just scooping out her eye. Just to scoop out her eye. It's not right, man. No, no. Don't do it. Don't do it, girl. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, I don't even want to. Like, can I fail this? It probably won't let me fail it. Let's just do it. Oh, God, no. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, that did not sound good. That sounded juicy and not a good type of juicy. Oh. Oh god no. it popped out and was hanging by my cheek. Was oh. it shock that was keeping the pain away or was it idiot? Uh we'll both take the scissors. Uh, okay. Can't see because I messed up my face. Yeah, now we gotta cut it out. I gotta cut off the freaking stringies. Oh, God. You can stop. A doctor can probably fix this right now. Let's not do this. Let's not. Let's not. Oh. Oh, no. No, girl. No. Don't do this. Oh. I snipped the optic nerve and blotted the warm fluids that were streaming down my face. With your hand. Vision being cut in half. Great compress. What was left of the dangling flesh, I placed back in the now empty hole. I That's... pressed the spoon and went to sleep. I don't think you should go to sleep after you do that. You could probably die. You're still not symmetrical though, because now you got a big hole in your eye. So, what did that accomplish? Plus, there's like probably blood everywhere. Or am I tracking blood? No, that. Hey, look at all that blood. That's not symmetrical blood. Oh, God. Fine, whatever. Go to sleep. Hope you don't die and bleed out. As you have no bandage on it, so, whatever. Whatever you say, man. Crazy girl. I woke up happy. I slept better happy? than I had in years. Oh, good. Done. I guess that's I an improvement. was fixed. I got out of my bed. My body ached and my head was on fire. The light was blinding. I wonder why. I looked up to the mirror, my stomach turn. Oh uh, yeah, let's go take a look at that mirror now. Stomach turn, why? Because it's all pussy? Because there's like nasty fluid probably like gushing out of it since you didn't bind it. Didn't patch it up. Oh, that's gross, man. That's gross. Only then had I realized what I'd done to myself and I couldn't believe it. Yeah, it you were crazy last night, girl. My face, but not the right. Yeah, I told I you, see? To I told you. I told you to be unbalanced. There's a big hole in your face. Hold it. Are you serious? We're gonna do it to the other side now. No, girl. Didn't you learn your lesson? Okay, let's go grab the spoon again. Oh, God, no. Where is it at? It's not even over here. Where'd I leave it? Did I leave it over on the table? Where'd I leave 
save that stuff. I can't see where I put them. Can I just leave? Can I just leave? She's already shivering. Are they on the ground? Oh, I just dropped them. Okay. Uh, it's hard to see that spoon. Okay, we got him. Let's go. Let's go play doctor. Plastic surgeon. Fix it. Oh, I don't want to fix it. I don't want to fix it. Oh, God, no. Oh. No. Oh, oh. It was much harder digging out the second eye. Yeah, I bet. My hands were shaky, but when I dug this building, I was the second time to oh. capture my pupil. Three times before I go to the right place. Oh, three times. Once the eye popped Third out. Third time's a charm. I reached for my scissors to finish the job. The blood from the previous eye had tried on the blinds, so the scissors didn't come. <sighs> How can you even see what you're doing? Oh no. Oh, I guess we're fixing it. We fix it. Oh, oh no. It was exactly like that, huh? Did you ever try to cut too many pieces at once? Oh, yes. Oh, uh, thanks for painting the image for me. Oh, yeah. The optic nerve was bent between the two lights. Oh. I was stuck. And as I tried this movie, I ran to it and made it unstuck. Oh, uh, shit. That's gross. The weight of these scissors and my hanging eye was unbearable. Oh. I knew I couldn't stand it long enough to make it to the kitchen to get a knife, so I pulled. Oh, you pulled on it? You pulled on it? Oh, this just hurt my eyes. Oh, this is just hurting my eyes thinking about this. Why? Why? Oh, God. Oh, oh, my eyes are feeling for this. Oh no. Oh no. I pulled it straight out of my head. I felt the flesh tear from inside my skull. Seriously? I felt it in red pants, pure liquids everywhere. Oh, gross. That is I gross. I knew I was crying, but there was no doubting the tears from the blood. Or the ocular fluid. How are you crying when there you just rip those out? The wet slap of bloody flesh against the tile floor. I knew it was done. I knew it was done. Oh. I could live my life now without having to see people's awful, messy, uneven lives. Uh, I guess that's a plus. The washed over me, and I knew it would last this time. I have never felt this way before. Except you got bleed out, probably. As I landed in that cold, wet, sticky tile, I smiled for the first time in years. Oh, gross. At least you're symmetrical in the end. Congrats! Symmetry! That was pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. Thankfully, there's some calming music at the end. 
you like this video, give it a pause up. Subscribe, join the pack. Till next time, take care.